Good morning, good morning. Another day, another dollar. Well, another day. <laughs> right, this has put the cat among the pigeons, isn't it? Um, I know nothing about cars, absolutely nothing. There's that noise again. Right, we are sorted. We are away. We are airborne. He says, I'm putting you a DEFCON, DEFCON 4, priority one. He loves the military. Not long now. He'll probably be coming from the back, so I'll catch him in my rear view mirror. That's Westlife, uh, some of my favourite uh, young Irish men, and their version of Uptown Girl, recorded for comic relief. What a lovely man, Jerry. Fixed it, and now I've got to just uh, wait for an hour to charge the battery up. As the radio was running it down, apparently. It's a capacitor, little thing, tiny little thing like that, but vital. £40, £40 to me, £90 in the shop. As Jerry said, you know, I'm, I am now 50 pounds up. I've made money, I've made 50 pounds. Cracking song, love it. Billy Joel did the original, of course. Big Billy Joel fan, me and Marion. Me more than Marion, no honestly. Went to see him at the uh, NEC in Birmingham in concert. Fantastic concert. And, uh, he was six rows from the front. Jeff got us the ticket. Six rows from the front. I have to say, up close, he uh, looks a lot like Dylan Thomas. <laughs> it's a nice feeling. Just uh, shot a check off for five pounds for comic relief. I thought with my lucky streak, you know, spread the wealth around a bit, Keith. You know, and uh, I can't sit in my ivory tower. I can't. I really can't. I mean. One, I don't like heights. Um, two, it's not fair on the elephant. They say charity begins at home. I mean, uh, technically I haven't got a home, of course. Um, so for me, charity begins in the car. Letter from my um, bank manager. I'm uh, three pounds overdrawn, uh, insufficient funds for the, for the cheque, so that's a shame. Um, Mr. Frankham has written himself, my, my manager. Very very nice man, very nice, but funny man, actually. Good sense of humour. Um, being divorced, see, like myself, as he, he says, I've been happily married three times, Keith. Uh, and in all honesty, he's got every reason to be bitter because his, uh, his second wife died very tragically. She was on holiday with her lover, unbeknownst to uh, Mr. Frankham, uh, hit by a jet ski. Oh. Bit of a sting in the tail here as well. They've charged me £10 for the letter, so this is a pretty expensive piece of paper. Dear Mr. Frankham, thank you for your letter of the third. I know you are something of a comic, and I know you will breathe a sigh of relief when I tell you the cheque in question was indeed for comic relief. I hope, therefore, we can settle this without recourse to the law courts. We don't want another Richard Branson British Airways clash, do we? Regards, your old friend, Keith. Da, 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 dear Mr. Barrett. Yes, it is an un... I, yes, I have un incurred an unauthorised overdraft. I'm not arguing that. What I'm saying is, it was for a... It was for a good cause. Can, can I Can I ask... Um, just, am, am, I, am I being charged... Are you charging me now for this call? Because technically I am pay-as-you-go. going to see Mr. Frankham, the bank manager, uh, face to face, which I think is a good thing, very good. My father always used to say, if you're going to see someone official, uh, always go for the eyes. Well, that's the result. That is very much a result. Um, half an hour ago, my emergency bank account was £44 overdrawn. Uh, it is now uh, £2,966 in credit. Uh, thanks to Mr. Frankham, thinking on his feet, he said, look, 
best way to sort out this confusion is to put it all into one loan. So I borrowed £3,000, uh, pay back over three years at a very competitive rate of interest. Um, anyway, you look at it, I am quids in. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's a fundraising day. What a great day. I'm on my way down to Cardiff to see uh, Rhys and Alan. Uh, I'm going to sit in a vat of baked beans, would you believe? It's their idea. And uh, I, said, I said to Jeff, I said, Jeff, you should pop in with me. And he said, no, can do, Keith. Um, he's doing a bed push with, with Marion. Right. Here we go. 